You don't know about me without you have read a book by the name of The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, but that ain't no matter. That book was made by Mr. Mark Twain, and he told the truth mainly. There was things which he stretched, but mainly he told the truth. I was born the 30th of November, 1835, in the almost invisible village of Florida, Monroe County, Missouri. When Sam was almost four years old, his folks, who just couldn't make a go of it in Florida, Missouri, moved the family a short distance to a village nestled on the west bank of the Mississippi River, Hannibal, Missouri. And it's down to the river, the old graveyard. There's no better living than living hard. And high on the midnight air, a boy can be free. Just the moonlight, Tom Sawyer and me. When I was a boy, there was but one permanent ambition among my comrades in our village on the west bank of the Mississippi River. And that was to be a steamboatman. Steamboats plied the Mississippi River, often stopping in Hannibal to load or unload passengers and cargo. A puff of black smoke announced their arrival long before the boats were visible. Clemens loved to travel. After leaving Hannibal when he was in his teens, his curiosity about the world spurred him to visit new places. It was a grand adventure and mysterious, and so it hit him where he lived. Save one who knows someday it might just bring me home. I saw her first in the form of an ivory miniature in her brother Charlie's stateroom in the Bay of Smyrna in the summer of 1867, when she was in her 22nd year. I saw her in the flesh for the first time in New York in the following December. Sam and Livy married February 2nd, 1870. They had four children, a son, Langdon, who died of diphtheria at 19 months, followed by three daughters, Susie, Clara, and Jean. They built a mansion in Hartford, Connecticut for a storybook existence as Mark Twain's literary star continued to soar. brought profound joy and comfort. His books were bestsellers around the world. Sam Clemens, now widely known as Mark Twain, was beloved by presidents and the populace alike. Of course, his greatest work of all was written during this period, his main character based on a neighbor boy back in Hannibal, Missouri. In Huckleberry Finn, I have drawn Tom Blankenship exactly as he was. He was ignorant, unwashed, insufficiently fed, but he had as good a heart as ever any boy had. Every night we'd pass town. Some of them are way up on the Black Hillsides, nothing but just a shiny bed of lights. Not a house could you see. The fifth night we passed St. Louis, and it was like the whole world lit up. St. Petersburg, they used to say that... I came in with Halley's Comet in 1835. It is coming again next year, and I expect to go out with it. It will be the greatest disappointment of my life if I don't go out with Halley's Comet. Samuel Langhorne Clemens died on April 21st, 1910, in Reading, Connecticut, with the perihelion of Halley's Comet blazing in the night sky, just as he had predicted. Samuel Langhorne Clemens, whom the world lovingly remembers as Mark Twain. Beautiful dreamer, wake unto me. Starlight and dewdrops 
are waiting for thee. Sounds of the rude world heard in the day, lulled by the moonlight, have all passed away.